everybody and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie Vio where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. It's been a while since I posted a video like this because I have just moved into a new apartment. So it's taken me a while to get my studio set up, but I have so many different ideas that I want to share with you about how to make money online and I hope to start posting much more often now that I am all set up. If you are one of my subscribers, you know that I have a lot of tutorials on how to use Upwork. I have been a freelancer on Upwork for the past three years and have earned over 70,000 US dollars. I provide all sorts of different services on Upwork like video editing, video creation, audio editing, voiceover work, and so forth. And I truly believe that the best way to make money online is to learn a whole bunch of different skills and sell those skills online. There are a lot of different YouTube videos that say you don't need any skill whatsoever to become a freelancer, but the truth is you do need to have some skills, but these are skills that you can easily learn by following my tutorials. I have a whole bunch of different tutorials on all the skills you need to learn in order to become a work from home freelancer. So over the past few weeks, I have been looking on Upwork every single day to see all the new different jobs that are popping up to get an idea of some of the top best jobs for beginners that you can start applying to today and you don't have to have a lot of experience. So before I tell you about the top five different in-demand jobs I am seeing all the time on Upwork, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below for more videos just like this one on how to become a work from home freelancer and earn your own income online. First of all, I want to make it clear that I am not affiliated with Upwork in any way. I have not been sponsored to create this video but I have a lot of experience as a freelancer on Upwork since I am top rated there and have been for several years. So the first job that I want to recommend to you guys is video editing. There are so many different video editing jobs that are popping up every day on Upwork. And this doesn't mean that you have to be able to create amazing animation. A lot of people just want some simple video editing where you put together different media and cut it together and sync it with music. And there are hundreds of these jobs available every week on Upwork. You don't have to be an expert, just being a beginner and knowing these skills is enough. I'm going to show you some examples of these jobs. And if you go to the link in the description below, you will see my two different tutorials where I teach you the basics of video editing. One is using VSDC, which is a completely free video editing platform. And the other one is using Filmora, which is a paid platform, but it's very affordable. And it's a platform that I use for most of my video editing because it's just that simple. So before I get into my top five job ideas, if you are unfamiliar with Upwork and you want to know how you can become a freelancer on Upwork, I have a whole different series, my Upwork Freelancer series, step-by-step -step how to create a great profile and get started as an Upwork freelancer, how to use Upwork for beginners, how to apply to jobs, and create winning proposals and so forth. You can get the link to all of these videos by clicking on the description below and this will teach you how to become a freelancer on Upwork. I've had many of my subscribers say they didn't get their account approved until they watched my videos, and then they were able to get their account approved. So make sure you watch all of these videos. So the first job we're going to talk about is video editing. The job requirements are that you will edit video footage into a polished video. You have to add music and or a voiceover. The skills required to become a video editor uh, basic video and audio editing skills for entry level jobs. So you have to know how to split and cut video footage, splice media clips together, add transitions, text and graphics. You require a PC, a laptop or a MacBook. There are ways to video edit on your mobile phone. If you're interested, I could teach you how to do that as well in a future tutorial. And then you'll need intermediate or advanced skills for intermediate or expert level jobs. This might be animation or explainer videos, motion graphics, and I can teach you some of these skills as well in future videos. So if you're wondering how you can learn to video edit if you have no prior experience, I want you to check out my two different tutorials I have. I have how to video edit using VSDC, which is a completely free video editor that you can download and there's no watermarks. I teach you how to video edit using VSDC in this tutorial here. And then in my other tutorial, it's using Filmora X, which is a paid video editing software, but it is very affordable. I believe right now it's $60 and that's a one-time fee that you pay and you can use Filmora forever. I use Filmora for a lot of my video editing. It's an excellent program. So I will link you to these tutorials in the description below as well. And if you want to learn how to video or audio edit, 
including removing background noise and audio or video for free. I have a tutorial on that. And I also have a tutorial on how to use free green screen software. So you can work with green screen to create special effects as well. And you might wonder, how can you get free videos, images, and music to use in projects for your clients? And I also have a video on that, where to get my favorite 100% free, royalty-free design resources. So for example, when I first was starting out on Upwork, I got a few different jobs and I didn't have enough money to pay for a royalty-free video subscription. So I used all of these different free design resources that I share with you in this video. And you can go ahead and use all of that even for commercial projects. So I want to show you right now on Upwork, I've just typed in video editing and you can see here there's over 7,000 different jobs found. You can sort by experience level. So let's type in entry level jobs and you can see 997 jobs found. Look here, create or edit videos and if they're paying $5 an hour, it's entry level. This person just needs to put text on videos. There's all sorts, this person wants to pay for someone to video edit for a birthday video urgently. There are so many different video editing jobs. This one here, entry level, the budget, they're, they're willing to pay $100. They want video editor needed for video ads. This person wants someone to edit a promotional video for a vacation house. So they would go ahead and give you all of the footage and you would mix it together to create a really cool video. So I highly recommend video editing. It is my number one job on Upwork right now because there are so many different video editing jobs available. Think about how many people are on YouTube. I like doing my own video editing. I don't want anyone doing my video editing, but some people prefer others to do it. They don't enjoy the process. So there are so many different jobs available. Learning how to video edit is extremely lucrative right now. And the better you get, the more you can charge. The second job I want to talk to you about that I see all the time on Upwork are blog and article writing jobs. So in order to become a blog or article writer, you need to write articles for blogs or websites. You have to write unique content, so no copying and pasting. Skills required, a high level of English or in whatever language the articles are needed in. Strong punctuation or grammar skills. Good at research and creative writing. So if you have been following all of my transcription videos, you probably have learned a lot of different skills, punctuation skills, and you're becoming better and better at writing in English, even if that's just writing what you hear. So what is stopping you from becoming a writer, a blogger, article writer? They're not looking for the most amazing work ever. A lot of them are just looking for content for their websites. For example, someone might have a travel blog and they want you to write an article on five the five best cities in Italy. So if you're good at research and creative writing, this is definitely something that could work for you. How can you perfect your writing skills if you have no prior experience? I have two different tutorials. I have my Grammarly free versus premium tutorial. Grammarly is an extension you can add on your computer and it corrects your grammar, corrects your punctuation. And also I have a video on five free spelling and grammar checker tools. If you don't have money for the premium membership, no problem. You can just use the free membership as well. And it offers you, you know, a lot of value. So what I would suggest to you would be to write an article, write an example article, um, even if it's just for your profile to show your style of writing, and then go ahead and put that article in Grammarly and correct it so it's completely perfect before putting it on your portfolio as an example piece of your writing. If you want to know how you can perfect your English punctuation skills so you look like a, a legitimate writer, I have a series on my Sparkle English channel called my English Writing Essential Series and all of the different rules for all of the different punctuation marks. So this should help you out as well. I'm going to show you examples of different writing jobs on Upwork, but this is also related to my number three job idea, which is script and content writer. So before there are lots of jobs on Upwork about writing for blogs, but there are also content writing jobs for scripts, for video scripts. The difference would be that instead of writing articles for a blog, you'd be writing scripts for videos, for YouTube videos. Again, you'd write unique content with no copying and pasting. 
Now, what is an easier way to write quickly if you are a slow typist? So a lot of people might be good writers. They have lots of ideas. They have excellent grammar, but they're just very slow at typing. How can you sell your skills as a writer if you're bad at typing? You can use Google Docs and use their speech to text tool. And all you'd have to do is say, basically just talk into your microphone telling the story that you want to tell, um, and then later on editing it and backspacing and correcting any grammar errors. And this is a quicker way for you to write something, write a story or write a script rather than having to type it all out. I also have a video on how to type faster, the best websites to test your typing speed and learn how to type faster. Um, and so that can also help you out if you want to become a faster typist. So I've just jumped on to Upwork and you can see here, this is a job that is available as of today. You know, they want three articles or blog posts about tiny houses. So you can see this person is willing to pay $40. I don't know if that's per article or for three articles, but you can submit a proposal and change this pay rate as well. You can see that right now this person only wants three articles, but eventually they want 150. So if any of these clients are happy with you, they will keep hiring you and you can get ongoing clients who will keep coming back to you to hire you to write more articles. Here is a law firm seeking an experienced writer and they're willing to pay more 60 to $120 per blog. And they're looking for quality, engaging blog posts specifically on law. So this would be a more advanced job for someone who is an excellent writer. This job here is low paying. It's only $5 for a thousand words, but they want three to five per week. Uh, and they want someone to write blog posts and post in Shopify. So I would imagine the quality doesn't have to be as high for this job as it would for the law firm job because they're you know willing to pay that much more. And then here you have travel writers needed monthly, high capacity and ongoing. There are so many other different writing jobs available on Upwork. You can see all of these were posted just hours ago. So you can imagine how many jobs like this there are on Upwork that are available. Okay, so job number four is freelance transcription. I know you see on my channel, I talk about all the different transcription platforms, but you can also become a transcriptionist by applying directly to transcription jobs, directly working with a client. And this way you can get paid more money. And usually the guidelines are a little less strict. Um, you would work with the client and they would let you know what they liked and don't like within transcription. The job requirements for freelance transcription are to listen to audio or video files and transcribe the audio that you hear, which means type out the audio that you hear. Then you would de deliver a polished and perhaps time-stamped transcript to your client. The skills required, a high level of English or in whatever language the transcripts are needed in. So perhaps you will apply to become a Spanish transcriptionist or Italian transcriptionist or Arabic transcriptionist, depending on the job availability on Upwork. You also have to have strong punctuation and grammar skills and good listening skills. What are some transcription tools I can use to help me transcribe? I have many different videos on my channel, all related to transcription. One video I think you should watch is how to transcribe in four easy steps. I show you uh, many different tools in this video here, and then also three other transcription tools for faster and more accurate transcribing. You can also use a tool like otter.ai, which is paid, which is converts the audio file directly to text, and then you could go ahead and correct the errors to make it faster. You could use a speech to text tool and say what you hear, and then have Google Docs automatically type out what the person is saying. Make sure to check out my playlist. Again, I will link you to all of these videos in the description below. So type in different keywords to find the jobs here. You could try typing transcribe, transcriptionist, audio to text, things like that. And you can see here, this job, there's an experienced transcriptionist required Monday to Friday, and they're hiring five different people. Here, caption or transcription in the US, Philippines, or South Africa, $20 and they're looking for six different freelancers. English video transcription, 
We're looking for someone to transcribe videos in English, interviews to make subtitles. So these are all just videos posted a few hours ago. So you can go ahead and search for all the different transcription uh, jobs that are available. And the last job idea I have for you is freelance translation. So the difference between transcription and translation is that with translation, you would have to be bilingual or perhaps you speak, you know, more than two languages, you're trilingual or, you know, even more than that. And I know many of my subscribers speak multiple languages. It is absolutely amazing. And there are a lot of opportunities out there uh, for people who can speak more than one language. So you would listen to audio or video files or read documents, then translate the dialogue or contents from one language to another and deliver a perfectly translated document to your client. Skills required, language skills, more than one language, um, punctuation and grammar skills, and good listening skills. What are some translation tools I can use to help me translate? Of course, you could use Google Translate. You put in the language, uh, the original language, and then you put what you want to translate it into. So with Google Translate, you could copy and paste or import the document and have it automatically translate to the language you need to translate it into, uh, but then you would go through and correct it. So if I speak Spanish, but sometimes if I'm going to write something really long out in Spanish, I'll put it in Google Translate and then I'll edit the Spanish manually. Then I might go through it and say, you know what, this word here I don't normally use, I want to use a different word instead. But this can help you, you know, translate a bit more quickly. And another tool I would use when translating is wordreference.com. This is an excellent website. For example, let's say you were translating a word and you weren't sure exactly what word you wanted um, because there are multiple meanings for that word or multiple words it could mean. This website helps you find the exact definition, you know, and you can say the right word and there's even a sentence examples to help you find the exact word. So now looking on Upwork here again, this is 20 minutes ago, translation of short animated film script from English into Spanish, translation of short animated film from English to Mandarin. We can go here and type in translation, English to Japanese, legal translator from Thai to English, English to Arabic, old Japanese to English, French to English. There's all sorts of different, you know, translation jobs here that you can go through. And you could even type in the, let's say Arabic, and you can go ahead and see all the different jobs that you might be able to apply to depending on the languages that you speak. Okay, so this has just been a quick video showing you different job options that are available all the time on Upwork. The amazing thing about Upwork is that you might look one hour and there's not a whole lot of jobs. And then an hour later, there have been, you know, 30 different jobs in your field that have just popped up. Upwork is an absolutely amazing platform for you to use to really, you know, get a good head start, get some clients and have ongoing work. When I first started out on Upwork, I was very much a beginner and since then I have built up a very large client base and I am constantly doing videos and voiceovers for the same clients over and over again because they were happy with my work. So once you start doing work for a client, if you treat the client well, they will keep coming back and hiring you for more and more work and you'll be able to build up a reputation as an excellent writer or video editor or both of those things if you choose to apply to both of those jobs. So I encourage you to watch the videos in the description below to learn any of the skills that you need and get started applying to jobs to become a freelancer and start making money online working from home. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click like and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in my next video.